As we talk about multiplying and dividing with negative numbers, we need to account for the special case of dividing with zero. Let's say, for example, we have zero dollars to share with five people. In other words, I've got zero dollars and I'm going to divide it up between five people. Well, if I have zero dollars to share with five people, what everybody's going to get is nothing. We're going to get zero dollars each. That seems to make sense. But let's say I've got five dollars to share with zero people. And I'm not going to keep any of it. I'm going to give away the $5 to zero people. In other words, I've got the $5 and I'm going to divide it up between zero people. The problem is I cannot start to give this money away because I don't have anybody to give it to. When we divide by zero, we're going to say the solution is undefined. Or sometimes you'll see the letters D and E for does not exist. In other words, I can't get started sharing that $5 with the zero people because I have no way to start giving it out. I have nobody to give it to. So this leads to the idea that we need to remember that zero divided by anything is going to be zero. But anything divided by zero is going to be undefined. And so to help keep track of what is OK and what is no, not allowed, I think about the fraction OK versus the fraction no. OK, O divided by K equals 0. That's OK. No, NO is not allowed. That's when it's equal to does not exist. So OK is good. No, not allowed, does not exist. So if we did a couple examples here, let's do 11 divided by 0. That would be the same as saying, OK, we're going to take 11 and divide it by 0 people. That no, the 0 is in the bottom. That is not allowed. So we say that does not exist. Versus if I've got 0 divided by 12 as a fraction, that would be 0 over 12. It is OK, the O, the 0 on top, to have 0 divided by something. And so that's going to equal 0. So be careful when dividing by 0. We can take 0 divided by a number. That's OK. But no, we cannot do a number divided by 0. It's your turn to practice some of these. Let your instructor know if you have any questions.